What is going on everybody? I'm currently oh I'm currently at work right now on the ferry. I'm uh, getting ready to go back to work. I just did some uh, deliveries for the airline and I am sorry that this is not sticking. Happy Father's Day to everybody, every father out there and every father to be. Uh, I am not a daddy just yet, but I hope to be one day when the time's right. Let me just tell you a little bit about my dad. My dad came to the States back in like late 1970s, early 80s, and he worked hard for everything that he did. Um, and you know, that just goes to show with like every, you know, immigrant family that comes through here. Um, but I remember one, one of the biggest things is like my dad worked a lot and he always had his fingers in so many things, uh, whether it be business or, well, actually it was like a lot of different businesses um, or he was like working on little projects like fixing cars. He always liked working on cars. Um, I unfortunately did not uh, get that enthusiasm, but I did learn through my dad how to do many things regarding car maintenance and uh, I am grateful for that. Uh, one of the biggest uh, memories that I had with him was fixing my first car. We had a 1990 Subaru Legacy that was blue, and we stripped a 1991 Subaru Legacy uh, that was red for parts. In the end, I learned how to strip a car, um, redo an interior, fix the electronics, redo struts, um, replace tires, align tires, change oil, all this stuff. And uh, I ended up with a red and blue Subaru Legacy Spider-Man edition. If if I have a picture, I'll show it to you guys on my Instagram one day. So link below for my Instagram. Um, you know, my dad worked a lot. So a lot of the times that we had together may not have always been like happy-go-lucky times, but they're definitely always learning experiences. Um, one of the more tender moments that I've ever had with my dad was like my first time coming back from college, I think. And, you know, this is no like daddy issues thing, but it's like, it's the first time he actually like, like really hugged me since I was like a little kid. Um, it was my first day back from college. And yeah, you know, it just showed that, you know, he missed me. And I remember him just calling me randomly during college just to see what I was up to, see how I was. And you know, being an like 18, 19 year old, you didn't want to hear from your parents. You wanted to be independent. But in retrospect, it just showed that he missed me and wanted to make sure that I was okay. Um, you know, my dad passed away in 2012. So uh, we haven't been with him for at least five years now, or five years now. And uh, I miss him every day, I think about him, but he lives through everything that I do and I know he lives through what my brothers do and like through the work that my mom puts and I think that's that's the biggest lesson for me right now is to um, you know work hard and care about the people that are in your family and the close circle because those are the people that are always gonna be with you and one day they might not be with you and I'm hoping to you know instill that type of uh, mentality for everybody in my friends and family circle that you know one day I'm not gonna be here but I'm hoping that you learn something from it um, and I may not be a dad right now, but I have so many lessons to teach and I'm hoping that something is sparked with somebody and inspires somebody because for me, my dad always inspired me to just do better, do better for myself and, you know, do better for others because without other people in your life, you will not survive. You will always be alone if you just don't open yourself to people and um, just know that everything is a team effort regardless of like how you look at it if you say you're self-made you definitely uh are lying to yourself because you had people to help you along the way um that being said i uh, pay attention to your dad he might be teaching you something that you don't realize even if you're being rebellious or you're just you just don't care um listen to it and even if it takes you years down the road to remember what he said um take that into account and definitely cherish any moment that you have that is good or a learning lesson so anyway i want to wish you guys a happy father's day i wanted to keep this short but that was it and uh take care of yourselves and love your family and eat well because why not anyway i'll see you guys later gotta get back to work peace